Und dann sagt man, bei der Scheiße noch schon, wie ist eigentlich der Trottel? Was? Okay. Howdy! Howdy! Ja, das ist mein New Daily Driver. Was ist denn da, Mann? Nix. Ja, <lacht> <lacht> yeah, my new Daily Driver is, in my opinion, one of the coolest and best cars I've ever owned. I'm gonna tell you in detail why in this video. So, as you can probably see, this is actually a 2021, I think. Yeah. Dodge Ram T Rex. It's basically a replacement for the Raptor. A, yeah, this is my replacement for the Ford Raptor. <laughs> Big car for a tiny man. Honestly, I love it. This is one of the best cars I've ever owned, and I'm gonna tell you why. It was wrapped matte back, by the way. It's not black like this from the factory. Apart from that, it's completely factory. Uh, this was done by Chibi Wrapping here in Austria. So if you ever need a car wrapped and you're in Austria, go to them. They did an amazing job with my RAM, and they can probably do your car as well. So, <laughs> let's get to all the points. <laughs> <laughs> the first part, or like the most obvious part why it's insane, fastest pickup truck can buy right now. Because it has a 6.2 supercharged Dodge Hemi V8, which you would normally find in a Dodge Challenger Hellcat, or Charger Hellcat basically. And I love these engines because they have this very distinct supercharger whine. Which is pretty loud stock already, like you probably heard when I was driving here, but I think it can be even louder. Mopar or no Mopar car. Mopar or no car. So <laughs> Pop the hood. And then you see the most American looking V8 you can probably imagine. Because this engine looks like they pulled it out of a 1960 Dodge Charger. I don't think they ever changed the engine in all those 60 years of building this car or like these cars. Because this just looks prehistoric like a T-Rex. But it works. It works. It works amazingly. This car is so fucking fast. I can't tell you. And another cool thing which I love about Dodge as a company, they hide Easter eggs in their cars. I've only found two so far, but I think there's more. This is the first one. It's a T-Rex because this car is a T-R-X. Mm -hmm. T-Rex eating a Raptor. How fucking funny is that? Let's move on to the interior. Because in the interior you'll actually find a second Easter egg. <laughs> the second Easter egg is in here. Uh, you actually have a Dodge Ram mm -hmm. compared to a T-Rex. And that compares to a raptor. Look how small and tiny the raptor is. Yeah. And that's a human over here, by the way. Also, you have some mathematic formulas up here for when you get lost in the woods or the desert that you can make what your way fuck? out to humanity again by using mathematics, like Albert Einstein. I don't know why they put it here. Also down here, you get reminded how much power the car has because it's a plaque that basically tells you the car is 702 horsepower out of a supercharged 6.2 liter Hemi with a 2.38 liter twin screw. Supercharger. Yeah, apart from that, the interior looks amazing. Honestly, it's way better than the Raptor. You have Alcantara and stuff everywhere. You have a huge sunroof. You can open the rear window, which is, I love that on pickups. You have a beautiful display, beautiful steering wheel, a nice Harman Kardon sound system, which is red, which looks very cool when driving. So, you have a lot of compartments for all the stuff you need everywhere. But the most important button is down here, which is launch control. I already tried it with Celine and I have to tell you that is crazy. It doesn't feel like a 2.7 ton pickup. I think it's actually faster than an F80 M3. And that's what? a pickup. Yeah, it, it pushes you into the seat so hard and the whole car just goes like this and you're basically looking into the sky. Like how? <laughs> Next to that, you also have the axle lock mode, which basically locks your rear axle so you can do funny stuff on the street. <laughs> and then next to that, there are a bunch of off-road buttons, which I'm probably never gonna use in my entire life. I kind of wish you could put the car into two-wheel drive, like you could with the Raptor, but maybe we'll figure that out so I can drift it around a little bit, which would be funny. Here you can put into the different modes, which I can maybe probably show you. Oh, by the way, while we're waiting for that, look how cool the rear view mirror is. Because it basically converts into a screen. How fucking cool is that? Have you ever seen something like this? This is an American car and they are more 
technologically advanced than Europeans. How is that possible? Yeah, different drive modes. Of course, you have custom mode. Then you have classic mud and sand mode, rock mode, Baja mode, sport mode, towing mode, snow mode, oh, you, 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 you. and auto mode. Very nice, very cool. Thank you, Dodge, for that. You have so much space in the rear that a Mercedes S-Class is basically shivering from all the luxurious comfort of putting your legs down here. It's Mani is a low. huge human and he has a lot of comfortable room in the back. I mean, it's no wonder the car is so long, honestly. The main concern most people have when buying a pickup here in Europe is that they don't get parking spots, which I don't understand. You can park anywhere you want, honestly, with this car. And the cool thing is seating, heating. <laughs> yeah, you have seat heating, yeah. so you have seat cooling, you have everything. USB C, USB normal. Yeah. I tell you guys, this is the perfect car for cruising and doing road trips with your friends, honestly. We already drove to Poland last weekend with it, and it was so comfortable, it was so nice. Even with the trail in the back, it was amazing. I loved it. Also, you have, wait, I'm gonna show you on the other side. You have a pretty cool compartment down here where you can store drinks. Just put some ice in it so it's cooled and then you can just put, pull the whole compartment out. And also for some reason you have a ruler next to it. I don't know what your American guys have with your rulers and stuff. but Maybe sure. for the caliber to measure it <laughs> for the guns. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, you also have some compartments down here obviously, like with every pickup truck. Yeah, I think that's it for the interior of the car, which is, I love it, honestly. Moving on to the most important part of the TRX, which is the suspension, which you can see here a little bit. It's a Bilstein, specially built for the TRX, which you can read here. But on the front, I think it looks even better. Yeah, you can actually see it. Look how huge those shocks are. And the coolest part about that is that the car has jump control, which basically means once the car detects that it's in the air, it will stiffen up the suspension. It will cut power to the wheels so that no drivetrain or anything gets broken and it will guide your way through the air. And of course, we also have to try that out. Guide you through the air like a cruise missile or like what? A cruise missile. <laughs> it is a cruise. It's a 2.7 ton cruise missile. You see it in the video. It landed so softly. It's basically my pre-runner, but for the street and for daily use. It's a daily use pre-runner. I don't think I've ever seen 2.7 tons land as gracefully as they did the T-Rex when we jumped a little bit. It looks fucking amazing. I think we already know that. Only thing, maybe some different wheels and tires. But it looks cool. Yeah. We need the Raptor spec where the tires just stick out a little bit more. Apart from that. Exhaust and in intake. We also have to modify that a bit, I think. But apart from that. Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty good, actually. Already. I'm going to show you clips of it. We made a list of all the stuff that people should know about the car and that convinces them to buy the car. It's actually a very good <laughs> Where is this list? It's in my hand. <laughs> You're not allowed to see it. So first things first, if you are in a road rage situation, for example, <laughs> and you have a small, tiny European car in front of you, what do you do? Yeah, perfect for road rages. Yeah, so first thing, road rage is perfect. Second thing is, what happens, for example, if you come across climate protesters? What happens? Stay in wait. Uh, yeah. No, you don't stay in wait. Yeah. Uh, what do I do? What? <laughs> what? Nah, man, Eura. Klimakleber. Ich glaube, ich spin. Nah. Oder die Vorschlächer. Ich fahr drüber. Echt jetzt? Spit die so. Ich fahr drüber. <laughs> Moving on. Third part on the list. You can put a lot of stuff in the back, I guess. What stuff? Stuff. Auto. What's your zeug? Next up, 
We have number four. You can take it to a motocross track if you want to do that. For example, we can't even go to a motocross track with the auto. Take it to a oh. Hello, my name is Sheepman, and we are driving my pickup on a motocross track now. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I fucking love this truck and I hope I can basically show a bit of my enthusiasm and share it with you because I think we need more of those trucks, especially US cars on European roads. Let's take over European roads. Let's make <coughs> European roads great again. Show them how much we care about the environment. Can I go home? Probably, I'm yeah. sweating in these boots. <laughs> Maybe you find some outtakes at the end because honestly, we had so much fucking fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so see you guys in the next video. Well, we're gonna probably go to Poland. We still have some legal issues with our Poland video. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope I can post it next week, but it should be no problem, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. See you guys in Poland, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs>